Hey guys, so it's Todd back with another little video. This time I want to talk about my EDC, my everyday carry, my weapon of choice, my holster of choice, and why I carry it. So we're going to get right into it. Alright guys, so let's talk about my EDC, my everyday carry. I carry a Smith & Wesson m and shield and I have it on me right now and not sure if you can tell that I have it on, but I am wearing one. So I have an inside the waistband holster. It's made by DeSantis. I'm going to show it in a little bit, and but I want to talk about where I wear it and where I carry it. So I take my personally owned weapon everywhere I go. If I'm leaving outside of my house, nine times out of 10, I have it on me. And for me, it is a uh, part of my uh, accessories. So when I get dressed, uh, put on my belt, I'm immediately putting on this thing. And so I'm gonna get into why I carry it, um, but let me show you what I'm carrying. So for me, it's essential that I carry. And uh, like I said, I'll get into why. But right now, I'm a right-handed individual, so I carry my uh, concealed weapon on my right side. So as you can see here, this is what I have. And right here, this is my weapon of choice. Like I said, it's a Smith & Wesson m and Shield 9mm. It is a single stack weapon uh, that holds uh, eight rounds. And I'll show you which magazine. The other magazine holds seven. But this holster is pretty cool. Uh, it has two clips that I just snap over top of my belt. Um, and it's really easy to conceal. But not only do I carry that, I also carry a spare magazine. Um, and the reason why, if being in the military, uh, being in combat, the mindset is, you can never have enough ammo <laughs> uh, because you don't want to run out. So I carry uh, one magazine in my uh, concealed and a spare magazine. So let me show you. Okay, so what I have here is a DeSantis leather um, inside the waistband holster. It's is the medium size. The large size would have larger clips and a small would have smaller clips. So the small only has one uh, place where you can adjust it. This one and the large one have two slots to where you can adjust it. So if I wanted to make this lower in my waistband, I would take this screw out and slide it up here, which would slide it down a little bit. Actually, that would raise it up a little bit um, in my waistband. Um, and so these two little clips just spring out and go over top of your belt. The uh, leather part of it on the backside is genuine cow leather. It's really smooth. So even though I wear a, a tank top underneath of my regular shirt, I've worn this on my bare skin before, no issues. The first holster that I had, the inside the waistband holster, it was a little scratchy. So I couldn't wear that up against my body, but this one is really smooth. And I've had this for quite a while and it's formed to my body now. Uh, so that's the holster itself. It's, it has a little click, so that way it maintains um, your, weapon. Put this down for a second. So as far as my handgun, this is, as I said, a single stack uh, magazine. You see, it's kind of thin. I know what you're thinking. Is that weapon clear? So let me show you. Just for this video, I make sure I took all the ammo out. So empty magazine, nothing in the chamber so also the spare magazine 
nothing in there. Uh, I do practice safety. So I know that's gonna be a question if I didn't show you. So, um, but I have a pretty big hand, but this small compact nine millimeter actually fits really well in my hand. And the reason why it does is because it comes with two magazines. One is the normal size magazine that has seven rounds, but it has another one that has an extender on it. This extender is my favorite magazine for this weapon. This one holds eight rounds, which means one is in the chamber. Yes, I carry one in the chamber, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute. So that's nine. And then my spare magazine has seven. As far as my spare magazine, why do I carry it? Like I said, having extra ammo just because you never know the situation. What do I have or what do I carry my magazine in? This is a simple, uh, inexpensive neoprene uh, magazine holder uh, that is a universal magazine holder. So this one holds uh, every type of nine millimeter magazine, whether it's a Glock, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, you name it, it holds it. Uh, and it holds single and double stack magazines. And it also has a little clip that goes over top of your belt. And I'll show you how to put that on here in a second. But as far as my handgun, uh, like I said, this is the version one of the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. There's an M&P Shield 2, and then there's also an M&P Shield EZ. The EZ is more for people that have weaker hands or um, issues with their hands. It's easier to pull back. Um, this one here, uh, my wife has the same exact one and she has had to train quite a bit to actually engage the slide because this slide is kind of tough. Um, it's a little hard to engage, but uh, I like it. It's really smooth. It fires really well. All right. So as far as this here, it also comes with a safety. So I'm gonna take this magazine out here and this one actually comes with a safety which I'll talk about here in a minute. All right, so as far as how um, I actually wear this, let me show you. So like you said, like I said, it slides right in pretty easy. This, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but this uh, DeSantis is specifically for the MMP shield. And so when you get online in the description below, you can actually choose the weapon that you have. So it also fits the Smith & Wesson uh, 40. It, they have them for Rugers. I'm not sure if they have them for Glocks or not. Um, but it's pretty simple. All you do, so the, the way I put mine on in the morning or whenever I leave the house, I typically want it right here on my hip. So what I do, you just have to loosen up your belt just a little bit. And then it slides right inside your waistband. The clips go right over top of the belt. And that's it. And so typically, so where the thumb grip is, I want that lined up with the seam of my pants. That's about where I normally have it. That's most comfortable for me. And so, because that way um, I can, when I'm, you know, actually practicing or I'm doing whatever, I slide straight up and it's, you know, right up my hip. I can put it on there, engage my weapon. So I'll show you that here in a second. But it's, this, this is pretty neat uh, inside the waistband holster because you can also tuck. So if I wanted to tuck my shirt in and wear it,
I could also do that. Let me tuck it all the way in. Just so you can see. And you just have to play around with your shirt a little bit. But for the most part, you can conceal this pretty well. Um, but I always have my shirt out. <laughs> so, um, so as far as my holster, it's exactly the same. Uh, I push this a little bit further back of my hip. But I put it in just like that. And so I put my magazine in my holster exact same way every single time. And what I mean by that, so looking at my magazine, the round is gonna face this way. And if I had to change magazines, I'm gonna to have to slide, with, since I'm right-handed, my magazine up this way. What I do every single time, I use my finger as my guide. So wherever the bullet goes, that's my where my pointer finger is. And I take that and I slide it inside my holster the same way every time. Because that way if I have to pull, so like when I practice, I'm just pulling, I put my finger here and I can guide it into my magazine well, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. So if I'm having to engage, um, which thank goodness I've never had to pull my weapon one time, this one. So um, if I had to engage, it's pretty easy. I'm just pulling here, I'm coming up and everything is out of the way. I don't have any issues with this thing. It doesn't get stuck on my shirt or anything like that. So I'm easily able to engage. Now, if I had to drop my magazine and change, the reason why it's so important that I have my magazines in the same way every single time is, as you see, when I pull it out, which way the bullets would face. So if I had to quickly change magazines, I'm gonna do the same thing. I have my finger here, I'm going and I'm sliding. And the reason why I do that is if, let's say I did have to engage. When I'm done shooting and I need to change a magazine, I'm gonna be looking around. I'm not gonna be looking at my magazine and seeing myself put it in. It's not how I practice, it's not how I was trained to fight. So what I'm gonna do, I'm looking around and I'm taking this magazine and I'm just sliding it with no issues whatsoever. So that finger sliding in helps me. And putting it back in the same way every single time also helps. So that's my EDC. Now, the question is, why do I carry? I have two specific reasons why I carry. I mentioned I was in the military for almost 22 years. I was a combat soldier, infantry, airborne, ranger, hoorah, all that. But the deal is I want to protect people that are around me, not just myself, but those that are around me in my sphere of influence, whether it's my family, my family at church. If I'm at the grocery store, I'm still going to try to protect people because I just love people. So. I want to make sure that I have something that would even the odds against me and somebody that would decide to do me harm. So that's the number one reason. Um, I actually have three reasons. Number two is because I can. It is legal. I am a legal uh, document carrying concealed weapon holder. You should be one too. If you're going to carry, make sure you're doing it legally. So that's the second reason. It's my right to bear arms. It's in the Constitution. <laughs> and if you don't know, you better read it. The third reason is more of a biblical reason. I know you're going to ask me, Todd, where does it say in the Bible that you can carry a weapon? 
it really doesn't specifically say that. But in the Bible, it doesn't say that you brush your teeth, but you know you need to brush those gums. So, the, we know that the Bible tells us that the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. So, I am also told to be wise. That's what God told us. So, I'm going to be wise. I'm going to carry something that I can keep the enemy from killing, stealing, and destroying anything around me. I know that that is more of a biblical or a spiritual aspect, but it also has physical connotations to it. We know that God told us we, we should protect ourselves. So I carry my weapon because I want to protect myself and my family and those that are around me. Um, and so uh, that's what I've done you know, most of my life as a, um, a military guy. I was serving and protecting. So that's the reason why I carry, as you see what I carry, um, there's plenty of different inside the waistband holsters, uh, alien gear has them. There's a couple of different other ones, but I chose this DeSantis one because it fits well for me. Uh, this is one I used many years ago. Uh, like I said, this is the second one, uh, a type that I purchased and you know, I've stuck with it. I really enjoy it uh, and it's, you know, it's not cumbersome whatsoever. Uh, most of the time people do not know that I'm carrying uh, and it's a good way to conceal. I had mentioned two things that I was going to talk about later. One was the safety and why I don't uh, have my weapon on safety. And the second one is why I carry around in the chamber. They both are um, concerning the same thing. And so, on my weapon, as you see here, has a safety on it. It's a lever of safety. So if I flip it up, it's on safe. If I push it down, it's off safe. So I keep mine off of safe because if I have to now draw my weapon, I have to lift up my clothing, draw my weapon. I have to find the safety, flip it on safety, and then acquire the target. It's all about speed. Same thing with chambering around. If I had to draw from concealed, I have to chamber around and then acquire my target, that's more time. And I am down to about a little under two seconds of drawing from concealed, acquiring target, putting a round down range. If you have somebody shooting at you, you gotta think about it. Um, first of all, they've already begun to shoot. Or if some, you see somebody with a, a threat, that threat is already there. They're, they're trying to do something to you. Every split second counts. So fumbling with your safety or uh, having the chamber around that adds time before you can actually get a round back uh, onto the bad guy. So that's the reason why I do not have my weapon on safe. Here's the other reason why. When I'm drawing, my finger is here. This is my safety. I don't put my finger on inside the trigger well, anywhere inside the trigger well, here at all, until I'm ready to squeeze the trigger. So if I put my finger here on the trigger, that means I'm ready to shoot. So that's the first reason why I do not need a safety. The other reason why I, I have a round in the chamber is because this is my safety. That round is not gonna go off on its own. Even if I drop my weapon on the ground or as that crazy guy from whatever he is, uh, Grandmaster, whoever, Jay or whatever, if you, you slam your weapon, it's not going to discharge around. So the only way that this is going to discharge around is by my finger. So I practice enough and that's what you have to do. You have to practice and get accustomed to your firearm as much as possible. And I'm going to do uh, a video on dry firing inside my house, which we do. 
and you just get used to it. So once I'm, you know, practicing, I know that I'm going to acquire the target. I'm not going to put my finger on the trigger until I'm actually extending. Then I put my finger on the trigger. But there's no reason to have the safety on. But that comes with practice. If you're more comfortable with having a safety on, you just have to practice finding the safety and disengaging the safety to get around downrange. If you've seen anything in this video that uh, you want to comment about, hit me up in the, in the comments. If there's anything that you guys have questions about, um, anything about concerning uh, firearm safety or firearms period, let me know in the comments and I can uh, do a video so that way to help answer some of your questions. And so I'm also going to put the links to each one of uh, these things in the description. So that way you can see and purchase for yourself if you want to, you know, purchase what I have. Um, but if you like this video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. While you're there, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that way you're notified the next time that I put up a video. And uh, I really appreciate you guys coming by, checking out this video. And until next time, remember God loves you. God bless you and may keep you. Until next time, peace. One more thing, guys. I just finished this fantastic book from uh, our pastor, Bishop Aubrey Shines. He is not paying me for this, but this book is outstanding. You want to get it, uh, pick it up and read it for yourself. It's eight questions about race. A black pastor responds to Black Lives Matter. Pick it up on Amazon. Uh, it'll change your life.